Right, so you are going to take me to the mall, right? Uh, right away, Miss C. He handed me my phone and waited until I put it away before counting. Please follow me. I'm into one of the hidden passages and after a ridiculous amount of twists and turns, we emerged on an underground parking bay. We got into a nondescript car and he dropped me off in front of a mall, giving me instructions to phone him when I'm done. I spent a while just window shopping and mentally knowing things that I or Mira would run. I was about to enter another store when a startlingly bright sweater caught my attention. Why are you wearing that again? Seriously, it's ice-ringly bright. Well, you did say you would look for the ball of sunshine and see how quick you found me. Damn, he's right, I did say that. So, what, do you, what are you up for today? I would love to continue our rendezvous from last time we met. I even made sure to bring my pocket change with me just for that. Actually, I'm not that hungry. Really? Are you sick? Or maybe lovesick? I jerked my head up at his suggestion. What? Why would you even think that? So it's true. What? No! Pity, I was hoping you had fallen in love with me. I'm not sure my retina can handle looking at you long enough to fall in love. Well, my offer to remove still stands. Although, I'm still no wearing anything underneath. That's okay. Keep it on, if you insist. The fact about you not being hungry though. I wanted to celebrate our reunion with something of equal sentimental value. Having said that, he pulls his hand out from behind his back to reveal a packet bearing the look of the famous bakery. Those are divine! Oh, and I even got the special edition cake that they make once a year in celebration of the coming Halloween. A once a year special? But seeing as you're not hungry, I guess I have to eat this all by my lonesome. Maybe I can go and get some myself later. It's such a shame too. They sold out so quickly. Huh? As he turned to leave, my resistance cracked. Wait! Hmm? Um, I, I guess I won't mind having just a little. I mean, how can I not keep you company after all you did for me last time? Well, I don't want you to force yourself. If you really don't want any of these delicious cakes, then... No! I mean, it's no trouble at all! Well, should we go to the usual spot then? Yeah, sure. I can't believe I almost missed out on this! Why do they only make them once a year? I think it has something to do with the ingredients being rare and seasonal, but it could just be the baker's whims. Halloween isn't the only day they have special treats for. They have ones for Valentine's, Christmas, and even White Day. What? No, I'll never get to eat those. What's a white day? It's a day when... At that moment, a particularly strong gust of wind blew, taking his hat with it. He tried to grab it, but it was already too late. His spiky hair was unmistakable. Count? Well, so much for that. You! I don't know why you're getting so mad. I haven't done anything wrong yet, Mr. Asher. That's flirty personality. I should have known it was you. Wait? You knew who I was already? Well, I don't exactly meet people who can eat as much as you and Mr. Wolf very often. I stood to leave, but the count grabbed my hand. I'm not letting you get away that easily. I let you brush me off yesterday, but not today.